Welcome to Storytime with Fairy. Today we're going to be reading the story of Gigantosaurus. Many million years ago, beyond the path of the lava flow, on the edge of the jungle where the herbivores grazed, four little dinosaurs spent their days playing in the Cretaceous sun, following tracks and having fun. The dinosaur mum said, Beware, my child, of the Gigantosaurus, so fierce and wild. With teeth as long as you are tall, he'd soon make a snack of one so small. His feet go stomp, his jaws go crunch. In the blink of an eye, you'd be his lunch. Bonehead Tiny, Finn and Bill went off to play up on the hill. The Gigantosaurus was on their minds till Bonehead said, I think you'll find we need a lookout and I'm the best. I'll get a good view from that termite nest. But it was only a minute before Bonehead cried, It's Gigantosaurus! Quick! Run and hide! Thud, thud, thud. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp. There was no crunch. No fierce monster had smelt his lunch. It's just Triceratops, Bonehead laughed. You ran, you hid, you're all so daft. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. But you passed my emergency warning trial. Now I think I'll keep watch from that rock a while. But a little bit later, Bonehead cried. The Gigantosaurus! Quick! Run and hide! Bom, bom, bom. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch. No hungry beast after snacks to munch. It's old Brachiosaurus, Bonehead laughed. You ran, you hid, you're all so daft. But danger lurks, as you'll need to learn. I'll look out from that enormous fern. It didn't take long till they heard a shout. Gigantosaurus, you'd better watch out. Thump, thump, thump. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stump, there was no crunch. No carnivore with a whiff of lunch. It's Stegosaurus, Bonehead laughed. You ran, you hid, you're all so daft. But at least you've passed my final test. Now I'm going for a nap in that comfy nest. Then seconds later the cry began. Gigantosaurus! Run as fast as you can! But though his friends heard what Bonehead cried, by now they knew that Bonehead lied. That's it, said Bill. We're off to explore. And we're not going to play with you any more. No one left to trick. Bonehead was alone. He began to wish he was back home. For an awful noise was coming near. And now there was good reason for fear. The feet went stomp. The jaws went crunch. And the Gigantosaurus had his lunch. But 
Bonehead's friends came running back after they heard the tree go crack. Poor old Bonehead, it's such a shame. What a sad end to his naughty game. Even though he tricked and lied, at least he taught us how to hide. But then they heard a muffled cry from the scraps of nest that lay nearby. I'm here. It's me. I have survived. I'm sorry that I tricked and lied. But this time, honestly, it's true. There's a pterodactyl after you. And though Bonehead thought they'd run in fright, his friends just shrugged and said, Yeah, right. Meet the dinosaurs in this book. Parasaurolophus. Paleontologists think this dinosaur's large crest was used to make sounds. Triceratops. This dinosaur had a huge skull, one third of the length of its whole body. Diplodocus. This giant dinosaur had a comically tiny brain. Brachiosaurus. A truly huge herbivore. Tiny's mum will grow to be even bigger than Diplodocus. Pterodactyl. There's no such thing as a pterodactyl, but that's what most people call Pterosaurus, flying lizards. What Bonehead meant to say was Pterodon, or more specifically, Quetzalcoatlus, but he couldn't pronounce that, and nor can I. Gigantosaurus. This scary dinosaur was made up for this book. But there was a dinosaur a lot like this one called Gigantosaurus. It was the largest known theropod. Meat eaters that stood on two legs, bigger even than a Tyrannosaurus rex. Gigantosaurus was a name given to some scattered dinosaur bones found by early paleontologists in England and Africa. But it was all such a muddle that science has never used the name since. If you'd like to learn how to draw a dinosaur, there's an exciting new activity book coming out in June this year. How to draw Gigantosaurus. You can follow these steps one to six and draw your own Gigantosaurus. You might like to buy some more of the books in the Gigantosaurus range. Thanks for watching Storytime with Fairy. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon for another story. Make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications.